Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be talking about option volume using Delta. More specifically, I'm gonna be taking a stock, in this case, it'll be Chipotle, and we're gonna split the option volume by Deltas and see if we can find any interesting opportunities. In order to run this script, you will need some historical options data. I'm using end of day CBOE options data. We're gonna start off by requiring some packages and sourcing some wrappers to get options data. Now in this next block, I'm just simply assigning the stock and getting all the options data. And from the options data, the columns I'm using are the date, the stock close, the volume, and the option delta. So if you want to use your own data, those are all the columns that are needed. Now once we read that in, we're going to go ahead and summarize the data. So we start off by splitting the calls and the puts. Now for each of these, I'm going to group by date. We're going to assign the stock price at the end of the day, the total volume, and then we're going to split our options in five intervals and sum the total volume that meet the criteria. And what I'm also including but is not required is the percentage of each slice to the total volume. Once you run this block, you will see two data frames. So if we take a look at the call volume, we have 578 entries. We see the date, the stock price, the total volume, and then the total volume for each of these deltas. And the last five columns are the percentage of each to the total volume. Now in the next block, we're trying to find any patterns. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some calculations and create an indicator based off of the volumes. We first need to convert our call volumes and put volumes into an XCS object. And the indicator I'm creating is simply taking the upper slice for the deltas of the calls and dividing it by the puts, and then taking the lower delta slice between zero and 20 for the calls and dividing that by the puts. Some of the instances you will see are infinite because the volumes are zero. To fix that, I'm just gonna replace those instances with zero. Now the indicators are very choppy, so in order to smooth things out, I'm using a simple moving average with a period of 14 for each. And since we took 14 observations, I need to omit any and A's. So if we take a look at vol delta, we have our call over put volume and then our lower slice between zero and 20. The next two columns are the simple moving averages for each of these two columns. Once we have these columns, I'm gonna take the quantiles with a probability of 5% in order to create upper and lower bands. So I'm using a period of 50 and passing in the probabilities, which we see in ball delta. So delta 20 pertain to this lower slice and delta 100 pertain to this upper slice. Now, once we have the bands, we can go ahead and plot the indicator. And if we take a look at that chart here, we see the stock price. The plot underneath returns the volume for the calls over the puts of options having a delta between zero and 20, while the orange line returns the option volume for the calls over the puts for those options having a delta of 0.8 to one. From here, you can take it in any direction that you like. What I wanted to test using these two indicators was first for these low delta options. These are typically out of the money. So I wanted to go ahead and short whenever our smooth line crossed the upper band and buy whenever it was below. Now, for for those options having a delta between 0.8 and 1, these options are typically higher priced. And therefore, I decided to test whether these big option players were betting for continuation. So I wanted to test if it was a good idea to buy whenever this orange line crossed the upper band and also be a buyer whenever this orange line crosses the lower band, indicating low interest for the big option players and hopefully sell to them when there's a breakout. In this next block, we'll go ahead and do the back test. And we start off by assigning two new columns for the signal and for the low delta options we're going to go ahead and short or return a negative one whenever the volume is above our upper band and long whenever it's below be flat otherwise we're going to be long both scenarios for the high delta options we're going to lag our signals omit any and a's we're going to add the stock returns and then we're going to multiply those returns by our signal to get the trade returns for each and then we're going to go ahead and plot the returns for the stock and both of these trades so everything is pulling from vol delta and here you see both of the signals the stock returns and then the returns for each of the trades so if we take a look at those returns so the black line is the actual stock return and we can clearly see that the outperformer here was our trade on the low delta options i don't see any alpha using the high delta options and we were better off just buying and holding the stock well this is just one example but we can extract multiple trading signals based on the option volume and deltas but with that guys this concludes the video i'll post a link down in the description area to my patreon where you can find the script Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.